Yo bro, today we're gonna talk about why you are fucking ugly. <laughs> now, attracting to me, now there's loads of guys out there who say, oh, I'm not good looking, I'm not handsome, but it's sort of like they have the canvas to be attractive. Like, let's say, like naturally, they would be, let's say we were living back in caveman time and didn't have all this processed bull crap and TikTok you would naturally look quite attractive, like a beautiful picture. But because of all of these things like processed food, TikTok, bad posture, you've been recessed jawlines, <laughs> that's why you look like a picture that's been shot all over and it's, it's just been smeared on it. And it annoys me so much, man, that I see people who would naturally be attractive, but they're using it incorrectly right like for example in my old friend group in high school right we guys who are like shorter wish that they were like six foot plus right i'm five foot seven so that means that there's you know girls that are shorter than me girls that are like my same height and girls that are you know a bit taller than me and it's not something that i really think about that often but when i see a guy right there was a guy in high school in our group, in our like nerdy dorky group that was like 6'2", right? And it annoys me so much when I see him around college now because he's 6'2", but he wears these massive headphones, right? He's got this longish like hair that like covers his forehead. He's wearing these like baggy hoodies and he's skinny fat. And I'm like, if I was that high, bro, oh my God, the things it would do for me. Because I think ultimately... You know, I'm not one to dwell on genetics, but if you are taller, people will treat you better. You'll be more respected with people. But you won't be respected if you're a skinny fat loser who's 6'2". Then you'll just be called like a flabby beanpole. <laughs> Another reason, like I said, is processed food. Processed food. Processed food. People just don't take care of themselves, man. Like... As you can see, my skin is slowly recovering from acne. And I think it's because I wasn't using the correct things to cleanse my face. And since I've been eating more food, I've, you know, it's naturally appearing on my face. I am trying to lean bulk, but I will have like, you know, a dessert or something, which I shouldn't do. But <laughs> trying to eat solely vegetables, which I mainly do for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'll have mostly vegetables and single ingredient foods. And uh, trying to get that vitamin C in as well with the oranges. But then if I've got like 500 calories left, I might have, you know, like a chocolate bar that's like 20 grams or something. Or I've uh, recently bought some nuts, which are going to be better. So that's another thing. Diet plays a huge part in how people look. And I remember there's an author in the UK. He died years ago, but Roald Dahl. And he wrote a book called The Twits. And something that that book taught me at a very young age was that if you have ugly thoughts, you become an ugly person. So basically in this book, The Twits, it's about a couple, a man and a woman, who are just like horrendous people. They're very unhygienic, very ugly. They're fat. They're just horrible people. And the book mentions that Mrs. Twit was quite an attractive woman in her youth. But she started thinking ugly thoughts and there's like an illustration that shows how she like aged. And because she had ugly thoughts, that's what made her ugly. And I agree with that wholeheartedly, man. Like things like in the real world, stress and just thinking bad things take a toll on your body, man. Like you age so much faster. People get wrinkles, people get grey hair, people lose their hair because of these things. And if you're thinking shit all the time, it's going to reflect externally. If you have shit internally, it's going to be there externally. Another thing that I think makes people attractive, unattractive, I mean, I guess just being like everyone else, trying not to stand out. Because if you're just another reg regular guy who's wearing like Primark clothes, now I can't talk right now, I'm wearing um, these <laughs> mucky ass Primark joggers. But that's because I've just been on a walk in the woods with my friends and I've been in a house doing work. 
and well I did work in the morning to be honest with you today has been a bit of an unproductive day that's another thing that makes you unattractive being someone who lounges about the house and that's something that I'm still working on but being attractive is a numerous amount of things tons of variables I could list them all off but you probably you probably already know what makes a guy attractive right just if you were to think of an attractive guy an interesting thing is when you think of that attractive guy where is he when you think of an attractive man, where, where, what location is he in? I think most likely he's going to be outside because you wouldn't find an attractive guy staying indoors all the time. You'd find him like, I imagine an attractive guy, he's like posing in the middle of the field, right? And that's another thing. Staying outside and being outside will make you more attractive, I think. Um, especially being in nature because nature elevates your mood. And if your mood is elevated, you're going to think better thoughts and that's going to reflect on your face. And also just simply vitamin D from the sun on your skin is going to, you know, get you a bit tanned, looking like me, Persian persuasion. And um, we'll do, you know, better for your skin. I think I'm like reducing in acne because I've been, we've been recently getting more sunlight in the UK. So I think that's why I'm getting you less. But yeah, you know what you need to do, bro, to be attractive. There's no point in you watching this video. <laughs> to be quite honest, I know that probably won't do well for my viewer retention saying that you don't need to watch my videos, but it's the truth, man. You're fucking ugly. Plain and simple. Now do something about it. Take care, bro. God bless.